Hi, I'm Jay with Aquastar Distributors, and this video is gonna be about selecting a sanitation system for your boat. So the first thing I wanna mention is selecting a sanitation system isn't always a DIY job. Um, you make the wrong decision, you're gonna regret it, um, and you may wanna think about hiring a super tech. So uh, Dometic has a whole dealer distributor network all along um, the United States. There's some in Europe, we have some in um, the Caribbean, there's some in Mexico, all over the world, the Medic has a dealer distributor network. So first we're gonna mention VacuFlush toilets. VacuFlush, the biggest benefit is low power and low water. So we flush with as little as 16 ounces of water, one pint per flush. So if you're coming from an old school macerating toilet, like a galley maid, okay, you have approximately 300% better holding tank or higher holding tank capacity with a vacuum flush system. A vacuum flush system is only sold through the dealer distributor network. And if you're unsure of that, you can visit Dometic's website or give me a call and I'll help you find your nearest certified dealer. Um, there are a couple of quirks when you install a vacuum flush system and we usually don't recommend vacuum flush for public use, okay? Um, but with a vacuum flush system, you can flush again with as little as 16 ounces of water and we have people who will even do less, okay? And you're only pulling six amps for about 20 seconds. So way less power consumption than if you're charging your smart device. Okay, um, I don't know why sailboaters don't use vacuum flush. Um, there are, it's a growing product in the sailing market, um, but I just don't know how we have all these beautiful, gorgeous, very expensive sailboats with a saltwater hand pump toilet. Um, they think they're disgusting. You're not gonna catch my wife using one of those, but. Um, Vacuum flush is fantastic. It absolutely has its place. Um, a downside to vacuum flush, it's not really too major, but uh, we do need to install a vacuum generator. So if we have a multi-head boat, um, it does increase the price a little bit. Um, and it can take up some space. So perhaps if the boat is under 30 feet, uh, vacuum flush may not be the best. You, you may entertain installing one of our vacuum holding tanks. Uh, you'll see those on a lot of Boston whalers, chaparrales, um, boats like that, but they're a fantastic system. Uh, over here, we do have one of our pedal operated toilets um, for vacuum flush, and it's just a fantastic system. They work very well. They do require a little bit of maintenance every two to four uh, years, depending on use. Um, but if you want to flush with low power and low water, there is nothing else on the market that can do what a vacuum flush system can do. Plus, you get the dealer distributor network. The next class of toilets, which I'll talk about, is Dometic's macerating toilets. So this is their newest toilet. It's called the Moderno. It's a big giant monster. It has a really clean, sleek European look. Um, it is available with a bidet option and you can get it with either a flush button uh, or a hand wave flush switch, which is really nice. A lot of customers like that. Um, this is a smart toilet. So when you uh, flush, it'll add some water to the bowl, activate the macerator, continue flushing. Once the macerator stops, it'll add a little bit more water back to the bowl. Um, very nice system. We also have uh, different pieces of China. So this would be considered the 8500 series. Uh, we also have the 87. Then we have an 89. There used to be an 8600 series. And then um, we have an 8100 series. That's our old China. That doesn't have a circuit board, but it shares the same macerating toilet. That's a really great option. It's probably my favorite macerating toilet. Benefits, they're very quiet. Uh, 20 amps at 12 volts. They're available in different heights, different discharges, um, 12 volt or 24 volt. Very good toilet, very reliable. Um, Dometic makes awesome macerating toilets. 
Um, what's not shown here is Dometic's gravity toilets. We really don't use those on a lot of pleasure vessels, commercial vessels. Uh, with gravity toilets, you have to plumb with three inch PVC and you're only allowed to use two 45 degree fittings, okay? Um, so sometimes like head boats and commercial fishing boats, they'll lock the bathroom door and, and discharge direct overboard with those. Uh, just check with your local municipalities and your call your local Coast Guard station because uh, I hear a lot of different things. We do train guys who are former Coast Guard officers. So uh, reach out to your local municipalities, your local dock master or harbor master and um, see what they consider a closed seacock. That's definitely something you gotta be very cautious of. Um, limitations on vacu flush versus um, a macerating toilet. So a vacu flush pump can be 50 feet away from its toilet and you can lift six foot horizontal. And then on the head pressure side, that can be an additional 25 feet away, okay, with an additional six foot lift. So Dometic's macerating toilets or master flush toilets, uh, you can go 100 foot horizontal uh, with a 10 foot head pressure and everything is contained in here, okay? Uh, we ask for a four gallon per minute pump and we use an electronic solenoid. So if you are using seawater or raw water, you are required to put in your own demand pump as well as a 100 mesh or finer filter. Um, I didn't show it here, but we have a couple other videos about it. Dometic makes what, what's called an Orbit. Um, it's an entry level macerating toilet. Good little reliable toilet. Um, but uh, if you can make your budget work, um, I really like that 8100 series. So um, this is a, just a, a quick synopsis of different systems that Dometic's, Dometic offers. Um, things to be aware of are um, cabinetry, draws, uh, whether you're on a platform or your feet are flush, the, the size of the user, and you know, that's kind of why I first started this video off with, maybe you want to talk to a dealer because, uh, especially if you're living aboard, if your sanitation system's not right, you're not going to be comfortable and you're not going to enjoy your time on board. Thanks for watching.